determine the measure of angle B. All right, here's angle B. There are actually two ways of doing this. It's just a matter of order. Uh, we could do that 62 and angle D are vertically opposite. So they are equal. So angle D equals 62. And then angle D and angle B are corresponding. So they are equal, which makes angle B 62 degrees. Now, another method that we could do, I'll just draw it down here, is that 62 degrees and angle F are corresponding. And angle F and angle B are vertically opposite. It's just a matter of order in which you want to do it. The, the corresponding angles are equal, so angle F is 62, and this, of course, makes angle B equal to 62 degrees. Either, either method is fine. It's just uh, ordered. There's, everything's good there, no matter which way you decided to do it.